Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today I have a spring cleaning video for you. As you can see, my garage floor is uh, quite a bit dirty from this past winter here in Chicago. So today we will be going over the best ways to clean your garage floor and what products you need. So right here are some products I'm going to be using today. I know some of you do not have pressure washers, um, so I'm gonna show two different options. One with a brush and one with this pressure washer surface cleaner. This baby was $29.99 on Home Depot and I'm gonna see if it works today. Another thing you'll need is some simple green and then I have a foam cannon to help spread this simple green. So let's jump right into this. The first step for spring cleaning is first a declutter. So as you can see behind me, I am rebuilding my 2004 R32. If you haven't checked out those videos, be sure to check them out. But behind me are all the parts I'm using to rebuild it. So I'm gonna remove all of this stuff from the garage, uh, just neatly put it outside. And then from there, I'm gonna make sure there's nothing actually on the garage floor so I have a clean surface. And after that, we're gonna take a leaf blower and blow out all the dust. Now guys, uh, I'm gonna show you two ways to do this. First, uh, we're gonna use a My Chemical Guys uh, foam cannon. If this is just a hose connected foam cannon, cannon, not a pressure washer one. And I like to go 50-50 um, all the way, or 50% of the bottle, and then I'll fill the other percentage with water. So we've got the 50% mixture there. I'm gonna fill it up with water. Then I'm gonna connect this, and we're gonna foam the floor. So as you can see, that section I did here, you can see there's somewhat of a line here in this section. I sprayed the simple green on here, let it sit for three to five minutes, and then I just scrubbed it with the hand brush. And it came out pretty good. Now I'm gonna use the pressure washer and see how this section comes out, and I'll show you the difference. So let's take a look. This side is hand scrubbed, this side is pressure washed. You can definitely tell the pressure washer did stuff because you can see there's a half moon here. Um, I didn't scrub this concrete but I did pressure wash it and obviously it comes out nice there. So all in all, I think uh, I'm gonna stick with the pressure washer because it's easier. So let's finish the rest of the garage up. Alrighty, so now that I've pressure washed this entire section, we want to get that dirty water out of the garage. So there's three ways to do this. You can sweep it out, you can use a regular hose and hose it out, or if you have a pressure washer, you can pressure wash it out to get all that dirty water out and a clean uh, layer of water in the garage. So that's what I'm going to work on now. There we go. I don't know if you can tell, but it's all clean. Now I'm gonna blow dry the whole garage out. Uh, I have a couple fans in my garage because it gets hot in the summer when I'm working on the car. And then I'm gonna let it air dry. Alrighty guys, hopefully that video was helpful for some of you guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. 
Uh, if you would like to see a video or request a video about something in the garage, leave them in the comments below too. But until next time, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.